welcome back, everyone, to the Game Time Lounge, sponsored by GameTimeReviews.com, affectionately known as GTR. You are listening to the Rainmaker. That's the UK Salvation Mix by Rainmaker. So if you like that song, check it out. Glad you guys could be here today. We just purchased Valley off the PS4 store, and we are here to share it with you today. This looks like a pretty cool game. It looked like something I wanted to cover, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump in it. Well, we're actually gonna swing into this game. This game is a game by Blue Isle Studios, who hail out of Toronto, Canada. So shout out to Blue Isle Studios. We're gonna ready to check your game out and see how it is. Uh, we've got Deet here today. Deet, you, you there, buddy? Bring it yep, Dicha is here. Dicha is in the house. Yeah, Hello, how are you doing, doing? This is Dicha from India. I am super, super, super pumped because it's the morning in India here, and I'm able to see the sun now. So I'm really happy, and I've called it in a couple of hours. I'm really happy to be in the streams. And this guy, Electric Smoke Man, makes you want to come back. <laughs> you did get the awesome streams I will got. Okay, I'm not praising you, but still, how's it going, guys? This is Dicha. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. You're awesome, too. That's why we got you on the GTR team. You are the coolest person yeah. ever from the country of India. So we appreciate it. Guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. We hope we get some people here in the live stream as well. And uh, those of you that are viewing post-live stream, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, you guys give us a reason to do what we do, and we always want to thank you for that. So we're going to take a look at Valley Blue Owl Studios here. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's just throw that in slot A. Nah, everybody always throws in slot A. Eh, I'm feeling like a C. Uh, there we go. We'll quick fact, um, Blue Owl Studios is from Toronto, Canada, and these guys' shops, okay? That <laughs> must be costly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. Yep. All right, so, um, Deet, I think I might be getting a little bit of feedback on my voice through your, uh, so turn my voice down in your headset a little bit if you can. Okay, I'll do that. All right, let's set this up. Let take me... a quick look at the options. Let's see, brightness, look sensitive. Okay, 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 subtitles on. Yep, character voice, mail. Okay, that looks good. That all looks good. Replay, narrative, yep, master volume. Controls, there we go. This is what we need to do. Move, look. Okay, got that. Jump, yep, normal. Interact, triangle. Take life, give life. R2 is give life, take life is the top. Okay, run is all two. That's real simple, guys. This is actually my first look as well. I just loaded the game up, like, honest to goodness. Uh, just, I just got it. I pre ordered it last night so I could get the cheaper price. Downloaded it, got up, and loaded the title screen sat here and talked to a teacher for a while and said hey you want to live stream it with me he's like does a duck have a bill <laughs> <You know? laughs> so let's do new game let's get into this choose a gender please select the gender for character. well i'm not gender confused so i will choose male all right the life seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power while mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some into luring some to incredibly remote locations. See, we need to like we need to unlock the mystery of the valley. That's what this game is about. You're roaming around doing all kinds of stuff, man, and you're trying to. Like, hey, sh looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean. Hunting down the, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the that Rocky Mountains? Go. Listen, I know you want to prove Let that it they go. exist. I get that. It's an adventure. Right, so Hell, it's your career, but can you do something, something normal like the rest of us and just backpack in Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey. If by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. Now? I'll even yeah. trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. What the? Okay. 
That reminds me a little bit of Firewatch. This is made with the Unity engine, guys. In case you're oh. wondering. Shout out to Unity. Remote region. Canadian Rockies. Useless discount. Canoeing lessons? Yeah, this is reminding me a little bit of um, Firewatch, bro. And I yeah, really like I Firewatch. Firewatch. It's a fun game. Yeah, yeah, look at that really water. I'm just going to look around a little bit because this is cool. Can I go over there? Oh, I really wanted to go over there. Wow, this is... This sensitivity on the... Is really, like... I might have to adjust the sensitivity. It's kind of tracking a bit weird. Yeah, what am I doing? Ruins... Cave drawings? Where the hell am I? Yeah, I'd like to know that too, bruh. Love to know on that. And that water looks pretty good. It's shimmering. That shimmering water. I, I was just having a conversation with Deet. I'm wondering why they chose to use the Unity engine over the Unreal engine. Unity engine, Unreal Which engine. Which I feel, yeah. I feel like the oh. Unreal engine is better than the Unity engine. But then again, you know, I'm not a programmer. Maybe each one's has, each one has their pros and cons. What did that say? I just missed that because I was talking. Ooh, mid cave. Dude, it sounds really nice with the headset on. Gotta tell you. I just kind of want to jump in the water and stuff, and I can't, but I guess they're trying to keep me on track here. So I can press L2 to run. Let's do that, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's see what's out here. Oh, wow. The music is... Really... Atmospheric in the world. At the same huh? time. Crocky, look at the feral no, beast as he roams through the bush. How much does game cost? It was uh, twenty nine ninety five on the Australian server, so you guys in the US have uh, that. It's a lot cheaper. Oh, look at that. Oh, it breaks the title up while I hit the valley. Ah. I feel so peaceful. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the Unity engine, man. It looks nice. Ah, I should be bagging on Unity. I just didn't really think that would be the engine to use for this type of game. I know a lot. I know everything. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know, I just freaked out for you. I thought it was good unity was not good. Oh, look at this tree. Oh, the music's really good. Yeah. The music is a little bit here. You can hear the music one. Yeah, this is cool, man. It kind of feels a little bit avatarish. After all, you found a better game after your... Look at the your glowing lights. They're so yeah. pretty. I don't know why I say this, but... No, my side is going to pop from. I, I still wanted to... I wanted to play that today. I played it a bit. I played it with 30 minutes. I'm like, bro, this is not the game for you, man. To stop faking it, bro. I cannot play more than 30 minutes in one go. It's hard, you know? It's hard for me. It's hard for any person. Uh -huh. but... Oh, wow. Yeah. I can look down at myself. That's crazy. I am moonwalking.
So far, it's got a real good fantasy-like kind of magical, fairy-like feeling. I don't even know, man. What is this place? How hard did it? I hit my head. Yeah, dude, I think I'm tripping, man. Uh, I think somebody might come with some special mushrooms or something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is really cool. Let's look back. Look. Yeah, man. Look, this is a valley. And the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, this has got like a uh, very... I, I have to say, like immediately right off, like Firewatch was one of my favorite indie games as well. I really enjoyed that game. Got yeah. got kind of got kind of close to Delilah, you know. Yeah, it was real difficult, you know, that game because yeah, I won't spoil it. Oh yeah, so that's great. Whoa, whoa, okay. Blow my ears out here. What is this? Ah, <laughs> looks like a mechanical suit. Press triangle to pick up leaf suit. Yes, I will. Leaf guy stands for leaf effortlessly through air functionality. I'll probably tell you here. What yeah. is, dude? So I put the mechanical suit on. What did it like? Have a projector screen in the helmet? Welcome to the Pathfinder program. Oh, that's the HUD, I guess. And pooing out bouncing goat turds. <laughs> oh, deer turds. Sorry, not goat turds. I see how one too funny, man. You are funny. Yep, there it is. And if you hit yourself in the chest, it makes a sound. And out comes a big pile of... Something. I like this 50s theme, man. It's like back in the 50s. Like, kind of reminds me of Fallout 4 or something in a way. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It really um, looks like that. Cool leaf suit, huh? Yep, yeah, it'd be really cool if I could just step outside myself and look at it for a second. Oh, it's a chick. Let's see what... Virginia man. Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. Once, uh, That's as good a place as any to study them. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. The life That's seed actually has, yeah. This is cool. That like map the... indicator. Yeah, oh, it's even got a map, map just yeah. like Firewatch, but this one's all moldy, yo. Can't really. Military checkpoint, archaeological dig site, tunnel access. Where's the tunnel access? That's T. Uh, Same as, um, it doesn't look like no it's super helpful. I mean, it's all moldy. It's not real super detailed. So maybe it's just there for aesthetics. Northeast dig site. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely reminding me of Firewatch. I'm going to like this game. Yep, yep. It keeps going. There's like something... Search for the life seed near the dig site. There's something Canadians are good at, so yeah. All right, let's see here. I'm guessing I can just jump down. This leaf suit's got an ability. Can I use the life thing? No, nope, that doesn't work. All right, no. All right, so we're just gonna jump down. Don't hurt me! Oh, look, dude. Whoa, my feet turned into like bot rockers or something, man. Like little. Whoa. I'm crazy now. I'm so crazy. I'm crazy and crazy. Archaeological evacuate excavation site. 
Dig site located. Located northeast yeah. on trail. Okay, northeast. What does that say? Dude, for a game like this, and for the price like that, man, this game is more worth than No Man's Sky. <laughs> no Man's Sky builds itself. Like, all they did was probably buy a fractal generating program, set all the textures, the <laughs> parameters, the parameters of the fractal generator. It's a five gig game. I don't know. Everybody's going nuts over it. Not everybody. I mean, yeah. But, yeah, some people are going nuts. I, I don't think yeah, anybody's going nuts over it other than the YouTubers that, yeah. that got the code for free and are under some type of, like, copyright or, shit, yeah, yeah, agreement. I don't know. Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Oh, yeah, that's why I want to buy this game, baby. I want to flow. The flow. Run and jump. Let's go, baby. Cool. Oh, wow, dude. Oh, sickness. Wee. Oh, the sun called Mikey's here. What's up, Mikey? How you doing? Mikey's welcome, welcome, here. welcome to the Game Time Lounge. As always. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, bro. I'm running through the valley like a bassie. Yeehaw! Jester's dead. What is this? Dude, this guy runs way too fast, man. Oh, that's the leaf suit. Okay, so you sent a, you, you put a picture here for me. Okay, cool. Can't look at myself, but I look at a stupid wooden. The wooden. <laughs> can, I, can I melee it? Like, knock it down. Can't, yeah. Okay, so it's just a random wooden sign in there. Am I supposed to like run that way or something? So, Oh, I love this dude. I, you know how you have dreams? Oh, you know how you have dreams like you can run as fast as a deer and jump over buildings? Oh, this is like dreaming. This is like my dream, dude. Whoa, I slid. That was sick. Okay, my my blood my my blood's pumping now. Like it's got my it's got my heart racing a little bit. Got to be honest. I'll tell the truth here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I want to run again. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be sick, dude. Where are the things that I can swing on? Oh, More like Spider-Man. So, <laughs> yo, yeah. Speaking of Spider-Man, I got to plug the Titanfall 2 videos we just did. Sorry, guys. we didn't. The audio wasn't working on that second video, but there's some great footage on that. But yeah, um, Titanfall, you can swing with that grappling hook, man. I'll tell you, that game Energy Hook made me actually good at using, using those grappling hooks. What is this? Can I go in the water? Nah, it's not going to let me go in the water. It's not. I'm dead, right? Yeah, I thought so. That would have been sweet. I guess that's too much. Oh, yeah, these suits are very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. Okay, yeah. Alright, that makes sense. They got away with one there. I was gonna say, what could it go to the water? Well, derp. Uh, you weigh about 2,000 tons with that suit on. Alright, what I'm trying to figure out is energy, okay? I've been running around. I haven't been paying attention to the energy bars. Did my energy go down when I run, or does, is it endless running? I don't think it is, because I think it wore out. Let's see here. Well, I gotta know this. It, uh, let's see if I can just run. Actually, I just wanted to run up here again, so I'm gonna get a running jump on this bridge. I love the music. This is so happy. I hope it doesn't change. It's probably gonna get all freaky and weird. Oh, I landed. Oh! Oh, dude, are your, are your nads okay, bro? It looks like you landed on that post a little funny. Don't wanna, don't wanna crush the family jewels. Okay, those are like 
Okay, I see now. It isn't just a random sign. It's not just a random sign. You're actually leading me, leading me to where I need to go. Energy stored within the lead suit known as Amrita can be given to once living things. Okay, so I'm evidently going to want to move those energy bars up. Guy, show me the video. Aww. The little deer. Aww, oh, what happened, little buddy? Yeah, I'm going out. Rise and live. Ah, oh, that was cool. Yeah, Mikey, the music's really cool. It's got this, like, little hopping feel to it, you know, like, I don't know, man, like, it kind of sounds a little bit, the flutes, like, Middle Eastern, like, Bedouin music, like, mixed with, like, I don't know, it's just happy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so, let me go over here. Alright, leave suits. Pathfinder access only leases must be worn. Okay. So we are going into where we must use the leases. This is going to be cool. And access. I wonder if they'll ever be open. Can I jump over here? It's got that weird color. Oh, nice. Ah, see, it's talking about those mushrooms. Oh, well, man, that's not the Maybe I gotta keep eating the mushrooms for the valley to continue. Nice. Can I take life? So they're just really pretty mushrooms. Probably the way to get up here. It's probably why they put it up here. Let's check this out. Yeah. What? What just happened there? Are you serious? Did I just hit an invisible wall? Go, go, go. Yup, that's what it was. See? That's cool, man. See, you can see how people are thinking when they're developing the game. Just put something shiny up there. That's cool. That's a good level of design. Touch an orb to absorb attention. Here we go. Here's the energy. Oh, yeah. It's the energy. Wow. Wow. It's almost... Let's run. Let's run down that hill. Good bad. It's been about a minute now, so... How do you feel? Oh, oh my, my god. Game. Oh, dude. That gives me a little bit of Tommy. Hey man, what? That's cheap ass. Dude, I'm taking all the energies and off I can eat new orbs. So I gotta up my orb containers. Upgrade shit, yeah. Not my you're cool. See, that's calling me out, man, that I can't, like, because I just, they're doing that on purpose, because I, look at this, I feel like, I don't know, man, I feel like, like, I'm on a BMX or something, man, like, when I was a kid, and I used to ride my bike, and I used to see, just see something like that, and I just want to jump over, yeah. I just have to, you know, I, I just, I gotta come back up here, and I just want to, I just want to ramp off of that. Get it. There we go. Get it, Tony Hawk. Let's go. <laughs> That was sick. There we go. Another hill. There's different mountains in the distance. Search for the life seed near the dig site. I don't know where the damn dig site is. I'm following these doors and I'm running. Oh, dude, leaf suit sink. Leaf, leaf suit sink. Say that five times real quick. Sounds like you're speaking Chinese after that. Yeah. Alright, hold on. 
I don't know where I'm at. This game's so much fun, like, so far, I just want to run around. That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. So I'm, like, not really caring too much. Like, what is that red thing? Is that one supposed to go up on the map? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it said the dig site was not used. Life can also be taken from nearby living things, rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish your suit. Less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. I can't take a deer's life, I'm sorry. Is it kill? I'm not gonna find out. Uh, it's, it, you remember, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Grandpappy's got a lollipop for you. <laughs> Come here, little dear. I have a little salt lick lollipop for you. Come to Papa. Come to Daddy. Ah. Oh. He's so scared of me. Trying to take life, it won't let me. Oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry. So it looks like he kills it. Okay, dude. Have it back. I just wanted to say. So I'm not gonna kill oh, deer nice. unless I have no. to because I, I I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, there's wildlife all over the place. This is cool. Alright, can I just take it from a tree? Right. I killed the kangaroo. I didn't even get that much. Too. Like, I'm not gonna kill that tree. Like, didn't even give me that. Where? Where's the kangaroo? No, no, I wish there was a kangaroo. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Where's the kangaroo? I want to see it right now. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, I, you. You know how dogs are. Dogs like <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> so, yeah. right, let's see. Here. Let's follow it. I don't really know where I'm going, but I guess you know, just follow the follow the red dot. Oh, what? Don't tell me I gotta jump on those pillars or something. What is this? Oh, this what? looks like Journey, bro. Journey! Oh, it seems like these fireflies react to the energy. Mm. More like energy flies. Yeah, fire, fire, flyer flies? Flyer flies? Flyer flies. flies. Fireflies, yeah. flip flapping, flippity flapster. My tongue's not working right. They read the sign excavation site. Uh, yeah, that would be the tongue, same bro. thing as the dig site excavation dig, same thing. So I'm here. Where's the life scene? Find a way through the ancient ruins. Okay. So it did look like I had to jump on those pillars because that would that would probably frustrate me. Sometimes, you know, with some games, man, I don't know. I don't know if somebody out there might understand this. Sometimes I don't want, a, like, a severe challenge. I just want a long experience. Yeah, you know, like, when I watch a great movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Area 634. you know, I don't want... But I described uh, a new word for it. Susurus. This is an adventure game for a reason, bro. Susurus? That word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sussurians. 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 They've existed here for so long. They predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Hmm. See, that's the mystery we gotta figure out. I mean, there's all the stuff going on. Um. Yeah, I totally wanted to listen to that, but I feel what I was saying. Uh, yeah, smoke. So, you've been 30 minutes into this game, so can you please tell me how. Or, or can you please tell your viewers how does it 
feel to have uh, to play an adventure game, to play a really good adventure game, like like Wally. Oh uh, yeah, well, I don't know if it's like right super now, good yet, yeah. yeah, but what I've experienced so far, we're gonna have to wait for the review. But what I've experienced so far is very fun. The music's the music's just beautiful, especially if you get the headset on. You know, this is like. I, I share most of the games that I get with you guys on a live stream, which kind of runs the experience of just sitting down with your own game, you know, popping that game on and putting your headset on and getting immersed in it and just doing what you want. Like, everything I'm doing here, I gotta be leery that I'm showing you guys around. But this, this seems to me like a lot like Firewatch, and I didn't stream Firewatch, so I got to sit down and play it, and I sat down for literally six hours the first day and played that game uh, th then it had a glitch and I was kind of glad it did because I had to go back and do some of the other stuff and it was really fun and I probably wouldn't have done it again if um, you know if that hadn't happened so it took me about nine hours to finish that game completely like nine to eleven hours like twice almost because it, it literally the game saved glitch. But I gotta say, um, this is very cool. This is gonna be one of those games that, so far from what I'm surmising, just playing it, uh, you're gonna to put a headset on, or just you know sit in your room, turn up your your TV or your speakers or whatever, and just get immersed in this because it's very experiential. Not experimental, but experiential. Like uh, the music and the immersion is gonna be really cool. I just wasted my energy. This I just works everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's how I feel. I feel this is going to be a really good game. But you can't you can't tell, man. Like, I've gotten excited about a few games on live streams, to be honest. And then they just get, they kind of go the distance the way that I thought they would. You know, it's, it's nice when there's a new experience, but is the new experience long-lasting? Uh, or does it wear thin very quickly? That's why you guys are going to want to stay tuned for uh, Beat's review on this. Um, he'll, he's going to tear this thing apart and let you know what's going down with it as well. So, um, yeah, so this is where I was. Yeah, I just had to, I was just running around just, like, talking and everything, guys. But, um, yeah, let's go in here. Oh, man, I keep wanting to press that R2 to run instead of the L2. Alright, so let's get right through the stream, I guess. Back to life. I like that. I like that kind giving life instead of taking it all the time. Get here. I don't really know at this point, like I'm not seeing anything like like a score or anything like so when, you know I don't I don't really know uh, if you know giving life to these trees does anything. I'm assuming it does. I'd have to look at the trophies. I haven't even looked at the trophies on this. Deed will let you guys know all about this. Like, I, I don't know if it has a platinum. I really didn't check that out. Um, so, you know, maybe there's, like, trophies for giving life to all the things that, that are dead in the game. But we will yeah, let you guys know that's that for sure. Yeah, man. Yep, yep. This is only the first one, guys. So yeah. every time we get a new game or someone gets a new game, this is a ritual we follow that uh, we show you the 30 minutes or like 40 minutes into the game so that uh, you get a glimpse of what it is. And then me, Mark, or Julian uh, tear the game apart and tell you all about it. Like suppose uh, we streamed uh, Overcooked. Uh, now I'm making good Overcooked videos for you guys. Uh, we streamed Overwatch. We made Overwatch character guys. So these are just like uh, first views or like alpha previews so just uh, enjoy these live streams and you know that you know stuff is coming later so just enjoy this with smoke and uh, this is what he does he loves doing live streams and I love doing reviews that's mm -hmm. where the distinction comes in yep so we have reached the 35 minute mark here and uh, we'll wrap this up with any time now so yeah, yeah you might as well wrap the up the live stream oh, because yeah. we're going to give you guys a review as well um, and and yep. this is going to be a game where, um, you know, if, if Aditya goes through and finds some hard, hard, look at this, Dita, I gotta mention this is an energy upgrade. Yeah, so yeah, go on. There, on. there's, that, I think that's another capsule, that's what I was, I was kind of fussing about earlier. See? What is that?
is that? Energy yep, yep. upgrade status. Okay, so you need to get four of them or That's something. Up. Four of those to get another capsule is what it looks like. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah. If Deep finds any areas in this game that are particularly difficult, he's gonna go, you know, video alert, and he'll make a video on it to help you guys out for those video guys who are stuck. <laughs> um, you know, but beyond that, this game looks really cool. I would. Um, if you guys even remotely liked um, Firewatch at all, this, this game is is going to be pretty good. So uh, I'm not willing to give my final uh, judgment on it. Obviously, 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 because we haven't played through it enough. But I got to tell you, very, very positive. Um, no bullcrap. I paid for this game myself. They didn't give me a code. Uh, just telling you guys the truth. That's what we're here for. My my goal with this, what's really fun for me, is, as the president and founder of uh, GTR. Um, I started this because I've been in the industry for a long time and uh, probably uh, I've been in the industry over 20 years um, and I really wanted to start this just people the truth we're all about fun factor we don't get into so much control playability like we're just gonna tell you is it viable is it fun you know that that's what it really boils down to we give, we'll give you a technical rating but really the rating of the game the final rating of the game is the fun factor because that's all we really care about i mean there's games out there that are like pixel art games like you know just little indie games like in versus you know that are that are pretty fun but they're not real technically impressive what's impressive is the idea and the fun factor and so that's what we focus on here guys so i just wanted to throw that out there what it's worth i'm not going to go any further but it looks like a really cool game guys i was really having fun jumping over the hills like i said it, it it's like i don't know if you've ever had a dream where you could run really fast or like somebody's chasing you you got the feet of a deer or something you could jump up on like a barn and over it and all this crazy stuff like it literally i think that might be partially the inspiration for this game um, I've heard a lot of people have had dreams like that, and that's what it feels like, is running around, so it looks pretty cool. Is it going to get real action intensive? You know, you're going to whip out a machine gun and start killing people. No, it's not that type of game, and you guys know that. <laughs> but um, yeah. it's it's Valley, and, and I think it's you know it's going to be very positive. So you guys stay tuned for uh, a teacher's review or any um, you know strat videos he can you know help you with along the way if you get stuck, because there probably will be some difficult pinch points in this game where you're like with firewatch where you gotta figure things out but other than that yep, man yep. uh i want to uh thank you guys for stopping by mikey let us know if you got psn or xbox or steam you're getting a you're, you're gonna get a card you were really cool tonight thanks for dropping by so i want you to contact us cool. on gtr uh and uh, let us know get in touch with a dj yeah. after the video can dj how do you want him to get in contact with you uh, Twitter would be the quickest, so yeah, just go to uh, Twitter and type in Game Time Reviews and follow us, and we'll call you back for a direct message, and then we can hook you up. Otherwise, you can go to our website. If you don't have Twitter, have just email a DJ. That would us. be easier too. What's your email? It's what is yeah, it? Yeah, it DJ? is. No, no, no. Yeah, it is A D I T Y A at the Red Game Time Reviews. A D. So simple. I-T-Y-A at GameTimeReviews.com Very simple. Send them an email. Yep. Let, yep. let them know which platform. We'll do it for uh, Steam, PSN, or Xbox One. Xbox. And uh, yep. let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll throw you some, some credit out there a little bit. Just our little thank you for stopping by. You've been cool. Everybody that stopped by the live stream tonight, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. I know we don't really plan too well what we're going to do we kind of put it out there on the sperm oh the game's out let's live stream it so whoever comes in we thank you a <laughs> lot most of you guys are seeing this post live stream um thanks a bunch for you guys watching it deep thank you for being here tonight for the color commentary ah, and the good info the pleasure is always. all yours man the pleasure is all yours so we yep, appreciate yep. That. guys take a look at our website gametimereviews.com become part of the gt army uh subscribe on our youtube channel uh, like the video, all that good stuff. I'm not going to bug you with it, you know. But anyway, thanks, guys. We're going to end this stream now. Remember, play the game. Don't let the I game play you, all right? Me. All right, definitely don't let you, you dominate that game. And most importantly, have fun. Catch you guys later. Have a great e evening.